Hi students, my name is Karthik. Welcome to Physics Vibhu YouTube channel. Today I will discuss about uh, refraction by using Huygens principle and I will explain refraction, reflection okay, with the help of the Huygens principle. Okay. So, for this I will take a plane wave, plane wave because it is a ray optics, because it is a ray optics we have a waves that means I will take uh, plane wave. So, with the help of the Huygens, I will explain about to refraction. Refraction means we will take two mediums. First one is rarer medium, the second one is denser medium. Whenever ray moving from rarer medium to denser medium, so it bends towards the normal. It bends towards the normal. So, I will take this is the condition okay i will take this is the condition we have a angle i the ray is bending towards the normal that means angle i is greater than angular then i will prove i will prove that the speed of the speed of light in the medium v2 is less than v1 so this is i will take some assumption so i will prove like this so we have a refraction phenomena with the help of the Huygens principle. So, for this I will take an interface surface. Okay, here it is a denser medium, it is a rarer medium friends. Okay, so I will take a wave front like this. It is wave front, it is point A. Okay, so I will take another wave front like this. Okay, it is point B. Okay, friends. So I will draw a normal at a point A. So we have a assumption. It is it is which one? It is a rarer medium. It is a denser medium. It is a denser medium. And V1 is the speed here of the light. V2 is the speed of the light here. Then so we have a like this without change of medium here, but we have a different medium that means it is moving like this okay friends it is moving like this and and so what is this what is this so the wave front is moving like this the wave front is moving like this whenever it re the b is reached c whenever the b is reached d so the a also moves some distance in the medium some distance in the medium so the time taken, the time taken B to C is some tau or time T. Okay. At the same time, at the same time, the A also reaches some distance E. Some distance E. Okay, friends. So it is nothing but a it is nothing but a wave friend. Okay. We have a wave, we have a the refraction of wave. Okay, friends. Now what is this one? It is that I want to find out the distance between B and C. So, the distance between the B and C is the time into time into velocity, time into velocity. Suppose I want to find out the here the distance is nothing but the time into velocity, time into velocity. Okay, friends. Here the angle of incidence is I. The angle of refraction is R. Okay, friends. Now I will take two triangles: angle triangle A, B, C, and triangle A, E, C. Or that triangle A, B, C, and triangle A, E, C, friends. Okay, here, here. So what is this angle? What is this angle? I want this angle. Okay. Let assume. Let assume this is x. This is y. Okay, friends. So it is 90 degrees. It is 90 degrees because it is 90. That means angle I plus Y is equal to 90. And so this is a normal and the sum of the X and Y definitely 90. See friends, these are Y's and definitely I is equal to X. That means it is I. It is I. Similarly, similarly, it is R. It is R. Okay, I will apply sine functions because it is a right angle triangle, right angle triangle. 
फ्रॉम ट्रायंगल ए बी सी फ्रॉम ट्रायंगल ए बी सी ओके फ्रेंड्स ट्रायंगल ए बी सी सो साइन आई इज इक्वल टू साइन आई इज इक्वल टू व्हाट इज साइन आई ऑपोजिट साइड बाय हाइपोटेन्यूस ओके फ्रेंड्स हियर ऑपोजिट साइड इज बी सी बाय हाइपोटेन्यूस इज ए सी सो व्हाट इज बी सी नथिंग बट ए वी वन टाउ ओके फ्रेंड्स then i will take sin r so sin r so opposite side by hypotenuse opposite side by hypotenuse so that means ae by ac is equal to v2 tau by ac okay friends i want sin i by sin r sin i by sin r is equal to v1 tau by v1 tau by ac ac get cancel and v2 tau okay this one both are cancels that means sin i by sin r is equal to v1 by v2 v1 by v2 but what is the assumption tell me what is the assumption so the i is greater than r i is greater than r that means the high value in the sin functions okay so the i is more value compared to r and that means sin i is bigger than sin r sin i is bigger than sin r that means v1 is greater than v2 v1 is greater than v2 okay we have to prove it because the velocity in the rarer medium is greater than the velocity of denser medium denser medium by this we proved the refraction of the light with the help of the huygens principle huygens principle the next one is refraction in the denser rarer medium refraction in rarer medium by this we told about what is total internal reflection what is total internal reflection okay students then it is also refraction okay friends but uh, but in uh, what that uh, with the help of the wave optics total internal internal reflection okay friends already we proved refraction okay i can use uh, the snell's law directly okay friends okay it is interface it is interface so it is rarer medium it is denser medium what is the first condition of total reflection the light should pass from the denser medium denser medium okay we have a wave front like this okay it is point a it is point b it is normal okay so without change in medium it will move like this but it is a denser medium it is a sorry it is a rarer medium so denser to rarer means the wave moves like this okay similarly same concept okay the wave fronts move like this move like this that means b reach to some point c it takes some time t okay friends some time t okay then we have a distance it is it is it is v1 or it is v2 whatever it is then we have some arc like this so we can add like this okay similarly it is angle i it is angular okay r and what that it is i okay i want i want sin from the snell's law n1 sin i is equal to n2 sin r n2 sin r so sin i is equal to n2 sin r by n1 okay now i want to explain about to total internal reflection that means the incident angle should be greater than critical angle sir what is critical angle the angle the incident angle at which the refracting angle is 90 suppose i will take it is 90 r is equal to 90 then 
sin i c is equal to n 2 by n 1 n 2 by n 1. So, suppose suppose it is a wave front ok it is moving like this it is moving like this. that means uh, the wave front moves and comes like this. Suppose it undergoes torsion reflection it now does not come to here also does not come to here also but it moves like this ok it is about total internal reflection by using a Huygens principle. So, coming to reflection coming to reflection.